Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Today, I just want to show you how to type uh, around a circle in Photoshop. Or uh, we call it text effect. Or uh, this kind of, you want to create a logo and you wanted that. You want to type in, in that particular circle so that the, that kind of write up will go around the circle or it will go beneath the circle in a way. This particular tutorial normally people do it using Corel Draw and I think Photoshop you can also do it and you can use older versions and the new versions as well to do that so let us go to photoshop and let's get it out yes so in the case that is what i've just sketched on and i want us to type around it or to type in this particular circular uh, path so that you can understand it very well so i have created this and i have this kind of circle over here what i need to do is that i just want to type in in this particular space and that particular space there so that it will look nice and beautiful for me so in this case what we need to do is that after creating such a thing like this and you want to type in around that particular circle what we need to do is that you have to come up with a circle and this particular circle should be a circle that will help you to do that so in the first case that is how i wanted it to be but i want that circle to be also there so i'll come and pick my circular tool over here or elliptical tool over here then i'll hold shift and then i'll just drag something on that you get that or i can even close it up or delete it and what i need to do is to pick this particular circle over there then i'll just duplicate it by pressing ctrl g to duplicate and when that one is duplicate i'll hold shift alternate then i'll just drag it out just like this maybe i want that, that particular distance to be somewhere here then i'll have it like this over here and over that one i'll right click here and then i'll just change the color to orange you see it orange here yes so that to indicate that there is what there is kind of path or this circle that i want to use for that you get that cause after that i have to delete it away so after doing this you will finish everything what you need to do now is now come and pick your text tool over here and that text tool should be horizontal type tool over here then you click on that and then when you click on that what you need to do is that you have to come and select that particular circle over here and it's this one let's put it on top over there and let's rename it a you get that yes and when you do this what you need to do is to bring it closer to the edge of the distance you see that and as you are bringing it in you see that the text tool uh tip will change like this you see it has changed you see it has changed and when you click on it you have two or three guidelines you have a starting point and you have an end point and you have a, a selected point too so let's just do that and let's see something so i'll just click here once once i click here once we see that the text has go around my circle and that looks so beautiful however i want to use different there's no text that i want to use i want to use different what how do i do so all what i need to do is to start typing so i'll type photo shop tutorials photoshop tutorials clinic okay photoshop tutorial clinic over here and when i type on photoshop tutorial clinic over here and this is how beautiful it's going to look like so let me show you this kind of things over here so you see this you see this particular distance over here that is the end point over there you get that and the starting point to you can't see it right now unless we use this particular tool over here then you understand it so let me just click over here once and then normally what you can also do is that there is the there is the center of the listener over here you can press ctrl arrow to bring out the rule 
then use this called fix the internet ignore put it somewhere so that the sector and you can also use the sector over here so this is the sector of the instance so this place can contain something and this place too can also contain something different yes. so how right now if you have something like this what you need to do is that on the this particular circle a you can close it up right now then when you close it up you have it just like this over there however you want to move this one there how do you do that you just have to come and click on this particular this thing sometimes you can use what we call the paragraph and tool to do that when you use this particular paragraph and tool it means that this one is left centered you can also click centered and it will Look, you see how it has centered your work. So it, it tells you that when you click on that particular design, this is how it will center it. And when you right centered, this is how it will do. You get that. But there is not a proper way of doing that. What you need to do is that you have to come and pick a tool called here path selection tool over here. And when you select that one over there, you can now get all the things you need. You get that. Yes. So right now i just want to push this thing small you get that so when you click here then you, you see that it's going so and when you check you see this particular uh, star or this particular uh, multiple sign that is the starting point and this particular zero over here is the what is the ending point yes so only the starting point that you can start moving so that it will move for you but when you click on this ending point you won't get that it will spoil your work all wrong so you just have to try and move it just like this and then have it just like that and this one will look so beautiful then after that you can have it just like this you get it yes and then the next thing out on i want to show you is that is to tag around here too so what we need to do again is that on this particular distance over here you can duplicate it by pressing ctrl g and then when that one is duplicated this for this one let's give it a color so that it will be different for this color then you close it up and then when you close it up then you come up click on this particular this thing on top that one we call it down let's just call it down and we have it like this and then you you, you come and pick your path selection tool over here too right now what we need to do is that i want this particular this thing to be somewhere here you get that so i would just come and start from the starting what starting point then i'll move it as I'm moving it, you see that it is going, it is going, it is going, it is going, it is going. So this is how you just move it to the, to somewhere. Yes. And you see something, Photoshop tutorials, the clinic is not there. The clinic is not there because there is the ending point over here and for that matter, it is not going to appear. So what we need to do is that you just have to click on that particular turning, uh, ending point, then you move that one to just on top. Then you see that that particular thing to appear. Then you can make your adjustment and it will look like this. For you. However, when it looks like this, it doesn't look so beautiful because the text has been changed. How do you do that? This particular thing is just a technique that you have to observe and you understand. You get that? Yes. When you are moving the distance and you are moving it this way, it, it, it goes that way. And when you move this one and you are moving it inner, you see that the text will change to how you wanted it to be. So let's just try something moving it like, like this. You get that? So just try. When, you, when I move it out, it will become like this. And when I click on that particular starting point, now move it in, it can like this. You get it. So you just need to do what? When you want to make it come on this particular distance, like this. 
just try and click on your start some point then you move it in then you have it just like that okay yes and then when you have it like that what you need to do again is to just click on this particular listing and the next thing that you have to do is to let this one come up and when that one is come up then you press ctrl t then you click uh, shift alternate then you can just drag your work you know you can just drag your work uh press ctrl t then you drag it so that it will in line with the top one how it is right now then you can leave it now then what again you need to do is to put in that down to okay photoshop photoshop house photoshop house okay then you can have it like this and this one too this is the same thing that you need to do is to come and click on pick your tool over here then what you need to do is to just push it up you just need to push it up you just let me close out this one so that we can push it very well so you can hold and push sorry just try and push it in a such a way that your this thing will not disturb you will not disturb you at the end of the day so you just need to try then you push it in a way that it won't disturb you and then you can just take your time whilst pushing it and for it to just look so beautiful for you you get this and this is how you can push it so you have it over there just like that without any problem and it's just taking your time whilst pushing so that your technique will not be lost and it will also look so beautiful for you in this particular manner so let's have it just like that and because the text is not so long we can have it just like this then we have it just like that and then uh let me just try and reduce the distance to somewhere that and then i'll open up this one and then i can have it just like that and let me just remove the guidelines over here then we can have it like this so this is how we type around a text in photoshop and in this particular tutorial if you are able to go over and go over again i believe you can do it at the end of the day so thank you very much for watching this is abn graphics please drop comments ask questions on the comment box so that i'll know whether you understand or you have an answer. Thank you very much for watching. This is Avian Graphics and have a nice day. Bye bye.